All right, everybody. So with the Super Bowl right around the corner, I wanted to work on a project that I have been neglecting for several years. I bought these mugs at the Dollar Tree many, many moons ago. And it is just a football shaped glass. I mean, I'm not glass. Well, it is glass, but it is a football shaped beer mug. Here it is right here. Hope you guys can see. It even has the grooves. Uh oh. The finger grooves threads. I think that's what they're called. And I bought this, like I said, a long time ago. The issue was after I bought it, I have no idea what happened and I ended up never making the project. I think eventually I got uninspired and just left it ignored. So basically with Super Bowl month coming up and I don't remember when when the game is. I just know that it's in February and I wanted to go ahead and finally make these mugs for my husband. At least he'll be able to watch the Super Bowl with his beer mug if he chooses to use it. He'll probably say something crazy like I didn't need to make it yada 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 so on and so forth. Well we are going to make this and get this on the road. So part of this project really in essence is us layering different color vinyl all on here and I'm just working on taking off pieces that I don't need. I don't know if I'm going to keep any of these tiny bits because I have so much scrap vinyl but I will try my best. I think this itty bitty piece right here, looking for my pen pen, is the dots to the insides of my E. Yes, because I made the mistake of when I did it, it printed off wrong. Not wrong, but incomplete. So what I do have is my project is on my monitor across from me so that I can make sure that I'm layering it correctly. So this is going to be two sided. So one side is going to stay Steelers and the other side will just have the main Steelers logo. So that's the goal that we are working on today. So let me go ahead and weed all of this. And by the time you watch this, the teams will already have been selected that are going to the Super Bowl. Of course, that was last night and I did not watch this. So I have the little itty bitty Steelers word down here. So I need to make sure. Now with this little one, I mentioned before when I'm doing something with fonts this small, I usually use HTV Rot vinyl because I just find that for me, it is the best. It cuts the best and it weeds the best. So if you guys have not used it, um, I encourage you to give it a try, especially if you have problems weeding out little tiny projects that you might be working on. So, and they're actually very affordable for what you do get. And let's see. And then now that I say that, watch me have problems pulling this out. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off because it needs to be separate anyway. And we'll go from there. All right, so that was a lot easier. And let's see, I want to do this one. I might end up removing this part because one of the things that I was thinking about was because I already have the word Steelers on it. And if this gave me any problems that I was just going to omit this from the second logo. And I could always use the reverse weeding technique, but it just doesn't always work very well for me. So I can always try it today. All right. So I have all these little scrap pieces of transfer tape. I've been watching my friend Rachel on her channel and I told her that I admire the way she, that she's always piecing, piecemealing it. That's what I call it. Piecemealing her transfer tapes together because 
I'm lazy and I don't piecemeal anything together, but she's quite good at that. And it's quite impressive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save this one right here. Because I don't want to lose it. I'm gonna just put it right there and then let's see about pulling this back if it works like i said it doesn't always work for me so okay so we are going to admit that I don't want to deal with that. All right. So that's going to be a no-go. So this is what we're going to do. So we are going to cut this off and remove the S from my finger. Okay. Now, let me know in the comments how many of you guys watch the Super Bowls with your other half. I watch it partly and I always go for the opposite team that my husband is going for and then when I'm bored I just get up and I leave so I don't need that anymore and then I go do something else until it's time this s is like really wanting to stay with me today and then once I get bored I leave or I pick up a book and go to my book reading and then until it's half time once it's half time I pay attention and then I leave again that's about the extent of my Super Bowl watching experience. That's it. I don't I don't entertain it other than that. Okay. So how are we going to layer this? Now this is going our black is going to be our bottom layer. And then so then we're going to do our black, our gold is going to be on top. And then this black is going to lay on top of the gold. So you are more than happy to use the parchment method, which I can, I'm going to pull out just so that you guys can see and then layer it from there. But in the meantime, I think this should be the perfect size. I'm just going to trim off all the unnecessary extra pieces so that I'm not working with too much extra that I don't need. All right. So, and then what we are going to do in the meantime, though, is we're going to layer everything before we put it on the glassware. We don't need to do it ahead. We don't need to do it after the fact. So let me grab some parchment paper and then we can continue. All right. Recently, at one of my trips to the DT, I found this box of pre-cut parchment paper. So we're going to try that instead of the other ones that... I've used before and we don't need a lot so I'm just gonna cut a small amount and then we're gonna go from there all right so I said it was the black and then the gold and then the black again so let's get this started get our transfer tape out all right get a corner lifted up here all right and then I am recording this pretty early on because I have to go on a, my daughter has a gymnastics event this coming weekend. Man, I love being a sports mom at times, but there are days that you're just like literally practice, rinse, repeat. That's all you're doing over and over. My magnets got stuck together. So I'm just gonna put these on here just to hold my image down. Okay. So what I wanna do, pull this back. And then, so when you do the parchment paper method, you just want to pull it down just enough that um, the transfer paper, transfer paper, transfer sheet, you guys know what it means is hanging out so that when you put it down it just lays down when then then you can pull the parchment paper from the vinyl project i'm going to pull this a little closer to me because 
the angle seems off. All right. So this way, it allows you to just look at the project that's, that's underneath so that you can get a perfect placement or as close as possible to what you're working on. And if my head is in the way, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure that I can see what I've got. All right. So I think I'm looking at the screen above me too or in front of me. And you see how that is about where I want it to go. Right about there. And we're just going to push down on this transfer sheet right there. And then the go from there is you're just going to lift up the transfer paper. And I know people have been complaining that if you get the cheaper brand, it'll stick. So just lift that up and remove that and then lay this down. All right. So I think I probably could have went higher on that. And I don't know how that got messed up, but it looks good. So we're going to push that down. Then we're going to lift this layer off. And that's one down. Then we're going to bring the Steelers word down. Lay this on here. And then rinse and repeat, just like sports mommy. Okay. All right, so. And this method works really well if you're like me that can't eyeball very well. Uh oh, I didn't take the back off, so. Take that off. If you're not confident or you're just beginning, this is a perfect project. This is a perfect type of way for you to layer your vinyl down. All right. And to know which one you're doing first, you just want to keep your project up. That way you can see which one goes in which order. Or you can write it down on the back of the vinyl. That way you know, okay, this layer goes first and this layer goes second. I've done that too when I first started off. So now this being so long is making it hard for me to position everything. Okay, so now just to make sure that this one is where it needs to be, I'm just going to layer it down just like so. And I feel like I'm missing a part of my S, so I'm going to have to go back in. The lowercase s is missing a piece. I have to look for that. We're going to layer it right there. And it's a good thing I didn't, I don't think I squished up. Yep, I found it. So we'll lay that down in just a second. And then we're just gonna lift the transfer sheet, remove the parchment paper and lay this back down. And I think it shifted again, okay. And then you squeeze that on remove this layer and the only reason i'm actually removing mine because you can actually leave it on at this point in time is i need to put this back on make sure that i take this off the way it goes here's the piece that was missing and i am going to position it am i in the right order i don't think so Okay, I was holding it backwards, so I didn't have the sticky side where I needed it to be. It still looks backwards. Hold on. Nope, sticky side is right. There. go now that this one is all done this is how your layering will look the first point I'm gonna move our magnets and then we're gonna bring the first one back over here and I'm going to cut this off too many pieces all right I hope that's okay bring you in just a tad All right, I've already cleaned my surface and that takes off fingerprints, oils, grime, everything. But this has been sitting in my kitchen cabinet for years, years. All right, 
So let's squeegee this back down, even though it's been so many layers, but just to be on the safe side and it's not just gonna help it along. All right, now, once that's done, and this is part of the reason I said I'm gonna omit the Steelers off the other logo because I felt like it was just too small and it already has it on the other side. All right, so let's find the center. And I think since we're gonna use this bar as the center, we'll just center this on there. And it's eight letters, so. I think right about there. I'm going to lift it up just a little bit. Mm. Crafting at its finest. And it's funny because whenever I make something that's specific to my husband, he always has something crazy to say. Like, why did you? He didn't have to do that. I don't know. So let's lay this down first. I feel like it might be crooked, but okay. All right, so that's down. I feel like one side might be higher than the other, but it'll be all right. Nobody's gonna notice at this point. All right, get it down really nice. All right, so now let's pull this off. And there's the first part. I like it. Okay, now I got this dirtied again. All right, so let's clean this off. Not too bad. All right, so this one is just gonna be a bunch of circles. Well, for the most part. So we're gonna do, I have the white somewhere. Oh my gosh, it was sitting underneath the mug. All right, so here's the circle and I did not weed that out. So let's go ahead, get this weeded out. And let's see. Now, this cut the star. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out and this one out as well. Because in its place, it the red and the yellow are gonna go. So I'm gonna really need to line this up really nice. Okay, so, sorry, I'm all off camera. All right, so let's start with the yellow. And it's actually a gold that's supposed to be, and I always almost used the wrong color. Okay, so. Okay, definitely gonna use this because I need it to sit exactly inside that spot. All right, so let's see. Move this out of the way just for a second, and then all right, I got it in there. Let's lift this up. Okay, so the other weird thing that's been going on, I started watching on Apple TV. Oh, I think it shifted anyway. Okay. Um, this show called Monarch. Monarch? Monarch? legacy of dra of dragons of monsters it's it's part of the series um relative relative to the king kong and godzilla movies so if you haven't seen that movie then those shows oh my gosh it was so so good i was so upset when i realized that i was on the last episode and yeah it was i just loved every episode of it so, if you have not seen it, you should watch it. Okay, so I think, let's see if we go this way. All right, now, what's going to be odd is when I go to do the yellow, I mean not the yellow, the blue. Okay, I need to shift it over a little. I did not 
put this on. exactly that well and now I'm not using the parchment paper because I could see where it's going so I didn't need it at this moment so once you feel like you're good you probably don't need it I feel like at this point it was sort of hindering me so that's why I left it out okay now with this one I can actually just use If you want to, you can just put it on as a sticker. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue using my transfer tape and do it that way. Okay. Now, when you're doing this, don't stress about if you don't get it perfect because the first time you're doing your layering projects because it took me a while to get the hang of it. And I feel like... Okay, there we go. Because the star was overhanging the white, the white circle. So that's why it looked wrong to me. All right, so yes. Don't feel like you have to get it perfect on the very first try. Because the first time I did my few... So, uh, layering projects I was not getting them right by any means and even to this day I still mess up quite a bit of my projects when I'm layering it just takes a bit of time and sometimes I still go backwards when I'm doing it because I'm not paying attention so that tends to happen just you know per usual give yourself plenty of patience and grace knowing that okay it's not going to be perfect or excellent because I'm still learning even if you're an expert so they say you're still going to have times where on days that it doesn't it just doesn't want to work I should have um, welded these circles because I forgot they had pieces in here that did not they were actually completely separate but even with that we are going to make this work all right so I'm going to fix this circle because it's bothering my eye. So when you get bubbles like this, it's very easy. Just lift up the vinyl, tap it, and then lay it back down, squeegeeing it back down. And then you've got a perfect flat surface to work with. All right, so this goes yellow side up. I think that's the only layer I do. Yeah. All right, so that laid down a lot nicer than the first one. 
and the, see the thing is the more you do these the easier it gets okay now what i was saying about my daughter's trip is gymnastic season lit for us at least started last weekend so they had their meet she did really really good and she's been competing i want to say since she's been six years old and she's 11 now and she's trying to say that she wants to end she wants to stop which if that's what she wants to do then we're gonna do that but i told her we gotta finish this season at least so she seems to be okay with it so let's see what happens after when this season ends and how she does on our next upcoming trip the first one was local and it was a whole lot of fun but man sometimes i don't even know how i manage to do this and it's been years All right so let's go ahead and weed this off because this has a little thin line and it's okay so that stays and that piece stays i'm looking at the design because i was like wait does the background stay and it does not it's just this thin line that stays so that's one of the things when you're layering like this keep your original project um up on your screen if you can so that you can see what it's supposed to look like not just if you're laying actually layering actually you should probably have it up most of the time because if you're anything like me i'll weed off parts that's not supposed to be weeded and i'm like oh man i just messed that whole thing up for no reason and here i go recutting fortunately if you haven't if you've seen my video i have way too much vinyl so it's not too terrible but let's see let me leave this here so that but that does not mean that i really want to be wasting my vinyl if i don't have to but at this with that same token being said i don't mind messing up because that's technically the way i learned so you can look at it in two different viewpoints right if i mess up i'm learning if if the mistake was a valid mistake well i always say um mistakes are just happy accidents for me so that's how i look at it i don't look at a mistake and be like oh, man that was terrible i just look at it as oh well you know uh -uh. i i try not to look at mistakes as it's the end of the world for me because it is what it is that's how we learn all right so this is two parts so i am trying to see how this cut because it looks like it's oh it cut it upside down so let's weed it out because the words are upside down i should say the letters that's why i was looking at it funny like hold on did i cut it wrong in the midst of me saying that right okay so this is okay i got it now I have to constantly be looking at what I was on my screen because to make sure that I got it right. Now, the only problem that I'm seeing is, and I noticed it when I went to cut it, when I went to cut it was that the L for me is a little too close. All right. And I thought there was, so let me see. I think this, the black goes on top of the gold. Yes. That's how that goes. So let me see if this will work and no. But I thought I had another piece somewhere right here. Okay, so can I do this one will work? Yeah, that works better. Okay, so we're gonna pull this black off. All right. Burnish the back and then let's weed uh weed oh my gosh let's take this off and then 
for this one i'm definitely using our parchment paper because i am not going to get this straight at any given point i'm going to put that there and then i am going to sit this on here let's see how it goes i'm making sure that this black line make sure this is straight on my mat at least that way I have a I have hope because it's straight that I can get this line and if my head is in the way I'm sorry I think I got it and if we don't got it oh man okay that's because I had too much transfer tape. Now you'll see what is what happens. Real life crafting, right? Okay, this is what you'll do if you just did like I did and pulled it off. So, blessing in disguise, right? All right. So, actually, I need to flip mine over, my mug, and wipe it off. So that's done actually it's, it's not so bad actually when I'm looking at the original it looks really good all right so we're gonna place this right above here because this should go down here so we need enough room for it to be placed where it needs to go all right so fingers crossed I don't think I'm doing such a good job I mean <laughs> I don't think I'm doing such a bad job come on we'll get your words right this on in a minute because it's not gonna go anywhere I don't know why this one gave me a whole lot of issues it's too low but I can't move it anymore because I've already committed but I'm gonna try to adjust this one Because it's sitting on the lip, so I have to move this S. So let's gently lift this up. It's on, but if I move this one, it's not going to. 
it's not going to sit right and it's at an angle. I might recut it and place it back down, but I think it's going to have to be okay. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to clean up a little bit and we're going to seal both of these projects. All right, so now we're done with the layering, the putting everything together. Let's look at this one. Pretty, pretty. Let's bring back the original, the first one we did. Lovely. All right, so we're going to do one more step that you don't have to do because once it's on there and you let it cure, I got to fix this because it's bothering my eyes already. And you let this vinyl cure a minimum before you do anything to it. Let it sit for anywhere from 48 to 20, 48 to 72 hours, actually. And then you'll be able to use it anyhow you want to. Of course, anything that's handmade like this, you know not to put it in the dishwasher and so on and so forth. What I feel like there's something underneath here and I have no idea what it is. But once that happens you'll still not be able to use it in the dishwasher i know i've heard that some people do still put theirs in the dishwasher and it it's okay and you know it's your project do as you wish and so on but and i'm still thinking i'm gonna redo this but i think i'm just gonna leave it alone as it is it, so anyway i bought this maker's magic because it's the new thing on the market now that's supposed to be better than Mod Podge. And it's the same people that makes the Scorch Marker, which I've used the, the Pace version of the Scorch Marker and I actually love that product. The only thing about this one, and I'll probably review it later in comparison, but I really wanted to try it in today's video just to seal this, is that, um, it's expensive guys it's compared to Mod Podge this product is $50 I'm just gonna remove this gunk that's online it's truly truly expensive so for me that was a big downfall to that I don't think that it's like for everyday crafting it probably will last an eternity, but because it's very, very liquidy. Now, I do have mine in a smaller bottle, but for now, I'm just going to take it out of here. Just dip my... It's a really soft brush that they say that you're supposed to use it on. I haven't watched too many videos on this, but let's see how I want to do this. I think I'm just going to go up and down. Now, the rumor is that you won't see any brush marks once you're done, unlike um it's competitor Mod podge so once we apply this though it's supposed to cure within 48 hours that's the other thing unlike Mod podge that it cures and makes this completely dishwasher safe now that is definitely a plus because on glass projects like this you really don't want to see brush strokes now. I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong, but you guys know it doesn't really affect me if it's right or wrong. If I'm doing it right or wrong, because I'm just here to see if it works for you guys before you go spend money on something like this. Now I'm going to spin it on the other side and I'm going to hold mine up so that I don't get mine speared now i can see the brush strokes but it's supposed to be once it dries you won't see it so let's see how this works So this is the last side that I have to do. Why is this missing a letter? Oh my gosh. All right, too late. It's missing a piece. Oh my gosh, everything went crazy and I could have sworn I had fixed that. I probably still can because I just threw all the pieces away. Anyway, um, now one of the things that I noticed is that it has a very 
I guess not very strong, but it does have a chemical smell to it. Like, uh, I would say ammoni ammonia. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. It has a very strong ammonia smell, so that's why I had to move it away from my away from me some more because I get migraines and certain smells can trigger my migraines. And so, yeah, that was one of the things that I noticed even when it was sitting right there and I'm not even that close to it. So let's see how that works. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed the E and reprinted that out. And let's go ahead and put it on. Even though I've already sealed it, but it's, I'm gonna try to lay it down and best as we can. Mr. Hubby will definitely talk about me if I give it to him without without this letter with this incomplete E. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the rest of this sealer back on it. can see how many coats you're supposed to apply I don't know oh that's a little too dry because it's looking tacky I probably shouldn't have even done that yet oh, that wasn't supposed to happen okay let me seal this and see how long you're supposed to wait because it says 48 hour cure time and then it's a one hour dry time. So we're gonna have to wait one hour and see what it looks like. But so, so far this one is almost dry. I can tell already. And I don't really see any brush strokes on there. So that's actually pretty good. And the same thing over here. So I keep looking like it has something underneath it, but that was pre this application. But so far it looks really nice but and then here especially on the uh -oh, on the glass part you don't see any brush strokes on it there's like nothing on the glass part and when you're looking at it on this angle no brush marks either so i mean it works from the looks of it except I just probably messed that one up, but we'll see when it dries because it says no brush mark. So this one is still wet and then we'll see. I'm gonna try it on some keychains that I have and then we'll compare that to see, but I still do think $50 is a lot of money for this. But okay, that's not what we're here for and we're gonna set these aside and we'll come back and look at it and then look at the finished products. All right, so here are both of the projects, both of the mugs. They're done and I waited 24 hours. So it's the next day and I did do a second coat. Just like I said, I waited one hour, did the second coat, but honestly, I wish I had not. And the reason why I'm saying that is because after I did the first coat, it looked so good, so good. And I should have just went with my initial instinct and left it alone because once I was doing the second coat, I kept feeling like as I was putting the the maker's magic on I kept getting this tacky feeling to it as if it was resisting the second coat coating on it and now I can't let me see I don't know if you can see it it almost feels like it's got this coating on it right around the the vinyl and you don't see the brush marks against the glass but right around here it kind of feels um, like I tried to sand it off or something. I don't know. It's just a really weird feeling to it. And I know I still got these bubbles right here, but this one, I'm going to leave it alone because this is, um, the one going to my husband. This is the one that he picked out, but yeah, I preferred the look that it gave me on the first coating. Let me see if you guys can see how it just looks really good. You don't see 
brush strokes really on the glass at all. I just went and got some tissue and stuffed it in there. Just hoping that you guys would be able to see the image a lot better. Now on this one, I got much better results on this one. I'm not sure why was that, but see, you don't have any brush marks, brush strokes on this either. But then when you get here, it kind of, it's like um, the vinyl and this was not getting along. And I was going on even brush strokes going in the same direction. I wasn't doing this direction and then going over this way at all. The idea is just to try to do even brush strokes. But see, once you get down here, it did its own thing. So I didn't like that as well. See, and then here you can see some, but the brush marks aren't like irritated or I don't know why I use the word irritated, but it's not really that noticeable at all, even on the glass portion of it. I don't know if you can see that very well, but so like I said, I wish that I had left it alone on the first uh, test on the first time that I did it and not have done the second layer so if you do decide to try using the oh let me bring this down if you try using the maker's magic if the project looks good to you after the first after the first um layer i would probably just leave it at that don't do my mistake you know i'm glad that i did it so that you guys don't commit the same thing that i did but if it looks really good and it looks like it's good to go leave it after the first one and don't apply another coat or if you do choose to do another coat i would probably wait a little longer than the first hour i probably wait like maybe two to three hours and then apply a third a second coat but i'm definitely not applying anymore because even after 24 hours it doesn't even feel like it's fully dry which is it's well it's supposed to cure after 48 hours so i could have waited another day so i can see why they say 48 hours so i have another day because even now it still feels tacky but the first layer gave me um after the first hour it did give me a very dry feeling to it so i didn't get this tacky feeling that i'm still getting with the second coating that i put on there so that is how these look um it's not probably something that i'm going to use except for if i'm making any more clear glass mugs like like these that i don't think i would use it on many other projects for one i think it's way too expensive and like i said i me shake it up and then open it for you guys to see what it looks like because i know that's probably a question that many people have on what it looks like the difference between this and how mod podge look actually let me pull out um let me open up the mod podge so you can see that okay so i've got my mod podge in this container let me push this out just a little bit all right, so here's my Mod Podge in this container. And you can probably tell from, so it looks, it's extremely, well, you guys know what Mod Podge looks like. So it just looks like glue, paste. And then this one, it's very liquid. It almost reminds me, it reminds me of almond or soy milk. That's what it looks like. I think. <laughs> that's the best thing I can think of you know like 2% or 1% milk but more almond or soy milk looking because it's like tan color versus your Mod Podge and like I said it has a very ammonia smell to it so ugh, I, I shouldn't have taken that whiff but if you're sensitive to smell like I am and you still want to use this be very careful open up a window if you need to turn a fan on and not put it too close to your face because I had a headache after using it yesterday in the back of my head but so that is my thoughts on that one I used it on a another on a motel key I will insert a video of how that came out and I'm not sure why it looked like that but I'll insert a video for you guys to see of that one as well so that you can see the difference between how this project came out and the other project came out but that is my take for maker's magic but i really wanted to try this for the sake of you guys and i really wanted to just get this project out of the way in time for super bowl and for my husband to use it and so on and so forth but if you guys like this video let me know in the comments what you think about the mugs and your thoughts on maker's magic if you've used it 
and or if you haven't used it and you were just interested in knowing but i thought i'd give it a try since i already had it in my stash all right guys thank you so much for clicking on to my video today and as always you guys have a great rest of your day bye